be able to get the kill. Meanwhile, I don't know exactly what Dark was up to during that time, but he does come back in time to kill GH with a quick crit. Yeah, he just decided he was going to mess around for like two minutes. But it comes back into the... It feels I, I really mean, good for them. It, it, like, the mid lane goes so well that Medusa hasn't had to take the, those ancients. And that was something the panel was concerned about. They were saying, look, these are both ancient hitting heroes and you only have one ancient camp. How's that going to work? Mind control kind of stuck here in the corner. Meanwhile, though, Yi, he's being caught up, but he's actually fighting. He's got him. He gets them all. He dies for it, yes, but he wins the engagement with a triple kill. That was a two what on a three. around from Yi. That was a two on level six. They want to try to punish the fact that they haven't used the ulti yet. And they've got the high ground over old chicken. That's why Dark is going to pop out the smoke. Kaka is going to run forward for the Kaka team. Kaka is actually going to go for it. The Surfer Ward's laid out, but he doesn't care. He's already casted his spells, and it's going to ensure the Kuro ties as well as GH2 support's already down. And with Dark already blown his ultimate, he's going to be able to chase down Matumba Man here. Has the Storm Panda on top of him. Can Cyclone at any point in time if he wants to, but it's not needed. All he has to do is dispel the Crepify and make sure that Matumba Man dies to the physical damage of old chicken. Now Mind Control's going to have to burrow his way out of here as... They're gonna, gonna catch Yi. Can they do it this time? He is gonna be silenced up. Manta goes down and unable to get off his ultimate. Now pops a wand, does have the mana, and that's where Liquid realized they can no longer go for this kill. But they're gonna turn with the epicenter as old 11 TP'd in, gets off a bro strike. A silent pushes them back, but these two are so low. Can Mind Control finish him off? It doesn't look like he's disabled. And with Dark already taking up the front line and forcing the rest of Liquid back, there's no follow up damage whatsoever. That's four dead, and so nobody rush. drops on the side of Keen. It's Roshan time for them. Look at this, they're, they're, ha. Uh, tells them that's enough to be able to win this team fight. So they start pushing forward. Yi, though, sitting on the front lines here. Oh, look at Miracle. Intercept, but look at him wrap all the way around. They do manage to catch Kaka initially. Gets off the Serpent Wards before he dies. Kuro is going to get cleaned up by Yi. Nice, down, Fisher. Wrapping into Liquid. The Fisher goes down. There is going to be the Mystic Sink. Bouncing over to Mind Control. He needs that mana back. And Yi does get it just in time. But now a two-man Burrow Strike with the top of Man draining out the Furion as well. GH knocks him down with the Echo Slam. Kaka's going to be the last one left alive. He goes for the TP out. There is going to be the Ensnare just in time. Liquid. They read it perfectly. They said the brew is down. We can take this team fight. Keen thought maybe they could take the four versus five, but they couldn't. Like, Furion is not your best team fighter unless he's really far ahead in this regard. And he is no longer having that, but this pick off on Mind Control could help a lot. He managed to get into the trees. Burrow strikes over. They still have vision of him because of that sprout, though. And now Kuro is being caught. Fortunately, the Fisher buys him a little bit of time. And now the Drone Ranger stuck on the wrong side of things. He does not have a Force Staff to be able to get out of here. He just has to run down River to the safety of Yi, who is going to stand in front of GH to make sure he turns into stone form, canceling that TP. But Miracle still managed to clean up that Drone Ranger and gets that out of here. He's going to be able to pop that song and TP away. Another great play. And where is Miracle? He's making his way back over from mid, but he's not going to be here in time. This melee Rax is going to fall quite soon, but Temple Man starts to get some damage onto Yi, seeing if he threatened him back, but the melee Rax is already dead. Mind Control has come back alive to be able to kill Old Eleven, but Old Eleven gets off the BKB, goes for the TP out. They don't have the physical damage to kill him in time. Miracle will be able to catch Kaka. They need a little bit more. That's where stopping Yi's teleport is going to be all important. Mind Control puts a stopper in that one. They lost a tier three in a melee racks, but being able to kill the Medusa, they won't be able to say it's worth it, but at least they'll be able to say we got something out of it. Yeah, you saw that miracle. He, I think he responded like half a second too late because he was headed towards bottom lane and his team was like, well, you died. That's, you know, death is bad in Dota 2. Well, yeah, but as long as somebody else isn't getting smoking, is that the worst? Oh, the, the nullifier. Come a bit with the nullifier. Holy cow, he's dead already. They miss one shot onto Kuro. They get the second one to be able to slow him down, and that's enough for the Sprout to get there. They oh, just turn around control. and just go with the But my control, he just replaced Kuro and he, dies with him. He actually went into the trees himself. I, Why he do that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> From our Earthshaker, he knows they're going to be able to take the full thing. That's why he's got to make the initiation in the back line. He managed to hit a two up with the Echo Slam, but unfortunately with the table Kaka's already got a laid on to him. Oh, Kaka! With this full on BKB, is just going to be able to control up Miracle. The Drone Ranger starts laying some damage in there. There is going to be the toss up of the air. They focus on Matumba Man. Now there is going to be uh, no buybacks whatsoever from Liquid. So he's they need to lose Miracle here completely as the nullifier is placed onto him. He's dead. No buyback there done. either. That's it. That is going to be Mega Creeps and GG Liquid. What a way to lose the game as Heroes, you, you had DK and a lone Druid. You want to group up somewhere. If you win the early game,
You just get behind a DK, you get behind a lone druid. I mean, yeah. Keen's just looking to go for these, like, push strats. Look at this. Again, they've got a draft wow. that can easily look to close a game between 20 and 25. Did yeah, you but... have Liquid beating Keen here in this series? Uh, I did not. I think we, after the draft, too, I told you that I thought Keen was going to win. I saw a lot of people say that I was biased towards Liquid, but I I thought that Keen was going to win. That yeah. is what happened. Yeah. I think they're going to 2-0 this, as crazy as that sounds. I will tell you that uh, I had I had Keen over Liquid. Yeah, I, I just think I think that has more to do with how Keen... He's going to show up to lane with 72 damage. No, instead he's got 800 ult. Yeah. Everyone's tanky, though. Is Wild. Oh, Chicken is going to take a lot of damage. Immediately healed up by Dark. Dark is very low on the side. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they're also going on to Kuro. Dark is just one hit away. He's going to die to the Rage oh. Creep. He does save Old Chicken's life, but Old Chicken is not able to get the return kill on GH, whose high armor and base regen is allowing him to stay in this fight. Look at him. He's going to challenge him and go for another impale. They're going to follow up with the Kuro. And that may be enough oh. until Dark comes back in once again. And my control, he's going to be in trouble with the melee form if they actually get some sort of insane snare here, or even just a little bit of damage with the Let aquatic shield Let going off. They might be able to catch him. That's why my control trying to hide inside of the trees as much as possible. Old Chicken He's gone through trees, almost gets him, and the explosion. Oh, he's doing so alive! Enough. Now the base shift as well, but the mist coil will catch him. Dark gets both the Nyx assassin as well as my control. He may have died to a range creep, but he comes back, making that death look real good. Go for the swap out. Old Chicken gonna be hunted down once again. They did not create enough space for him to own this lane, it seems, as Liquid are not scared of going for this. Old Chicken is going to pop this ultimate here, and they're just going to kite him around as best as possible with the disables and eventually finish him off. That's my nice pair face. Also helps get the stun. And now Kaka. Kaka, not again, man. Another Dude. situation where it's pretty clear which way the battle has, has gone, and... He still stumbles in at the last second, feeds away another kill. Liquid now a gank onto Yi in mid lane, who's trying to pressure that mid tower as we were talking about earlier. They don't have the mana for an aphotic shield. Dark won't be able to save Yi. A great gank there from Matumba Man showing up in the mid lane. And Miracle sets him up with the waveform. He's yeah. already been raxed. Okay, you got to do something about this. Stun goes out, but with Miracle. Playing this as is the doing so much. himself, he's got an Aphonic Shield he can throw on anybody that gets disabled. The bear is just slowly but surely going to be able to rip apart this melee racks, but they do see the opportunity to be able to go on the Nyx Assassin. They follow this up. The bear's going to die here. A big roll in from Miracle, who has the Aphonic Shield on him, does a lot amount of burst damage. That's going to be Kaka dead, but Old Chicken does manage to get off his ultimate. That's where the sleep comes in to be able to slow up those disables. Miracle goes full agility almost and just lays damage into the Beastmaster, chases after the troll, gets him too. That's the full Agi Morph. Yi doesn't even bother turning around and trying to address the Morphling. He needs to go for these other kills, and that's why he tries to get the Pug. But the Nightmare, it managed to get my control out of there. He jumps over to his orb. Oh, no, he actually does die. Doesn't get to his orb in time, but still, it is definitely Liquid winning this engagement. His Miracle just completely goes for any hero that shows up. He knows nothing can stop him at this point. He's not going to be able to make it out. Miracle shows up, takes that kill. That's going to be an ultra kill for him. Keen, do not have a buyback on the DK or the Abaddon. With the Lincolns, he's so unafraid of anything. Keen are now sitting on a dragon form and wondering what else are they going to be able to get for this. They do manage to blink forward, and the Lincolns wasn't up in time. Miracle still has the Aegis, though. He's going to turn into the Abaddon, actually pop the Aphotic Shield, turn oh. around and kill the Abaddon himself. Now, with a Primal Roar onto my control, they'll be able to take out that Puck, but not before Miracle finishes off Kaka and gives him his 10th death of this game. Kuro gets run underneath the Roshan Pit, but now there's no retreat for Yi. He's going to have to blink himself out of here. Old Eleven tries to go for the TP away, but it's canceled very quickly by Miracle, who's yet to lose his Aegis. Still another minute and a half for that one. That's a three for four exchange to the favor of Liquid. And to the hero of this event. Thank you, SAP Stats. Any hero of this event. And that's the thing. Oh, the Primal Roar onto the Nick's assassin, but he got off the Spike Carapace. That's all important. They are going to chain some stuns to make sure he can't get anything off. He's going to be gone. And Mind Control almost dead as well, but he does manage to get off his phase shift and jumps away to his orb. So he's going to be okay with the Fiend's Grip on the Dragonite. Where's the Aphotic Shield? He's actually silenced up right now. The Abaddon can't save this DK. He's going to go gone. Miracle now moves forward. Goes for Old Chicken as well. Dark trying to keep his carry alive. But their mid is gone, and they've had to buy back on Kaka to make sure that Liquid didn't just run over the rest of Keen inside of their own base. And there's going to be a Shiva's coming out on this Lone Druid too. If you thought they weren't farmed enough, they've got another set of items filtering in. As Kaka, oh, he doesn't go no, for Kaka. Kaka. He, wasn't he chosen. goes for Old Chicken. He wasn't chosen. Oh, God bless Kaka. <laughs>
<laughs> Kaka just saw his life flash before his eyes, but it was no, old chicken buddy, who get died out of there. instead. They're gonna give him the Aphotic Shield. Kaka gets Dude, he... away, but two seconds until the Aphotic Shield is back up. He keeps ether shocking, but it's scaring me. Yeah, that ether blade is ready to go. Miracle. Don't do it. Kaka, be careful. Run. Miracle wants you. If he wants you, dude, you're dead. Yeah. He, it was a it was a 50-50. <laughs> They're just gonna straight up call it. Alright, that's it. They're not even gonna wait for the next team fight. They know. Oh, the one last kill luck. <laughs> <laughs> one last one last ride, JJ. Yeah, one, one last, last ride. <laughs> Uh, well, they farmed and end it, but I think with the, the Centaur Spectre, they can just buy so much time until the late game. Were we expecting Dark to be the Jakiro one, by the way? Because it's now five Jakiro, four Winter Wyvern. Yeah, yeah. Dark. He wants yeah. 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 a ton of armor. Uh, where's Am? Like, he trades, I think, in terms of like oh, one. GH is trade. going for it. He's going to Fisher block the Courier. Yo, he's got boots. Oh, no. He's got he's boots. too fast. Leap away, Frog. The Courier gets away. Matumba Man actually picks up uh, the first blood on old 11. GH is just going to die to the tower. Did I say leap away? Hop. Hop away. Hop. Hop away. Hippity hop. I got, I got hyped. The thing about it is, like, Couriers don't, they didn't do anything. Oh, they're going to get a secondary kill. Dude. Kaka dies as well. Old 11 comes back in and starts swinging at Matumba Man with all the charges he had. Just give this man Viper and. Or this bounty rune that's coming up. And in fact, he's going to get the stun. Not enough time, though. To pick it up himself. The Splinter Blast gonna connect, but Matumba Man's here too, and this is gonna be an easy kill on Akaka. Kuro's treants are gonna mop that up, and a bottom lane mind control. That's gonna be the return kill for Keen, and they really needed something like that. I was gonna say this is uh, it, damage anyway. They are gonna do the exact same thing they did, uh, but this time instead of Matumba Man rotating over, it's gonna be Kuro as he might be able to find a kill here with the help of Kaka, who's committing his life for it. He is going to die, gets the Splinter Blast off last second. He needs that extra damage, too. As you can see, he barely gets the kill on Nakuro. Now he's going to go for GH as well as GH trying to kind of run around, stick with the creep wave. Make sure he doesn't get jackaled around, but he still has a slight of fist, dodges the after shack stun. Miracle's a little bit low, but Yi does not have his level six, so he has no mobility to be able to get out of here. Miracle will cut him down with his ultimate, but at least he has minimized the amount of gold fed to Team Liquid. The Liquid are not stopping there. They're already pressuring this bottom lane, but there is going to be the Spectre ultimate. Pop the level six, go straight for the kill on Curl, which is the easy one to pick up. Now the question is, can they get the harder kill? That's going to be Matumba Man, but you can see Yi's already done enough damage. This is going to be pretty easy. Yi is going to be the one to take the last hit there, as he certainly needs some recovery of his own. He cannot just funnel kills to the Spectre. He has not had a power pushes from Keen. As a commitment. Yi going for it again. Trying to go for GH. It's been silenced up. The Spectre's going to follow up. There goes the Stampede combo as well. They will chase down uh, GH successfully here. They're going to go for more of the back lines. Mind Control, he's trapped as well. It was a heavy commitment by Keen, but it is paid out. He's being able to kill not just that four. Did so much. Kaka has no mana to speak of. He got two stick charges, and he does have... He somehow, AM doesn't hit him. He could fly away, but the Animage stole some of this man. And now they're going to pop the Spectre ultimate and see if they can kill Mind Control, perhaps. Mind Control is for? very, very low, but the Spectre doesn't commit to it because he knows then he would be in Miracle Land. And Miracle Land is not where anybody on Keen wants to be. Old Lyman coming back in, a two-man stomp, but... They've already used their Spectre ultimate. Is this really the wisest go? Well, they're gonna go for the quick kill on Kuro. Now pop the Stampede. Now they're gonna go for the Viper. Viper is at half health, so is old 11. And he just stands inside of his own Nether Toxin. Yi realizes he has to get out of here, but now he's been silenced up. The Ice Path thrown out, but not gonna stop the damage that comes the way of the Ember. Ember's now dead. Fortunately, a blink away from old 11 dodges that coil out from Mind Control, but Dark doesn't have the same kind of items to juke out Miracle, who is now on a godlike spree before the 20 minute marker. Did you see him hold the hit, by the way, to make sure that mind control? Gotta somehow get inside this Rochefond pit, see if they can actually steal the Winter's Curse. That's a beautiful one. That's gonna make sure they're, they're gonna, gonna hold it for the ages. The Fisher's gonna come down, but the Aegis is smashed up by Miracle, and now Yi is stuck in nowhere. 
inside the Roshan Pentagon. He used the Stampede to be able to run down GH, but he immediately responds with an Echo Slam. Tries to go for another uh, Aftershock stun, but is unable to get it. Old 11 is left behind as the Spectre tries to make his way out, but Miracle is on the hunt. He's got the second life, and he doesn't even really need it to be able to hunt down Old Chicken. The Ice Path misses. They didn't have it fast enough to slow down of the extra liquid fire. It may not be enough as the Spectre is going to be thrown up in the air by the Yule Scepter, saved by that Cold Embrace for now, but he has no mana to be able to quickly get out. Miracle's a little bit low, has to blink away, doesn't want to give up his Aegis this early. Last couple of shots at the top, but it's a dangerous game that he's playing. Without, uh, without, ooh. Oh, they can find Kuro here. They, they are. They are going to be able to run him down with a Stampede. Now, the TPs are coming out from Team Liquid. They're going to give up on Kuro. He's definitely dead, but they're going to try and catch some heroes perhaps on their way out. Matumba Man waiting for GH to catch up, and then they can get there in the AM. We talked about that blink cooldown. He can get there pretty quickly as well. They're trying to chase down these heroes. They think Old Chicken is somewhere over here. He has to TP to the side. GH does not know where he's at, oh, so he's not going to be able to catch gone. him. But Miracle caught Dark, and now he'll be able to sandwich the rest too. Kaka revealed by the sentry, laid out by GH. GH just walks away from the kill. He and he tries to go for GH. Misses, though. Four staff forward. The Spectre popping that ultimate. They're going to go for Kuro, but that feels like a poor substitute compared to the forward position of GH. They're going to pop that Stampede, try and get away with Yi, but he can't make it. But now Miracle is heavily committed. It's rooted down to the spot, they got and him. they will kill him. Somehow, they've managed to potentially win this fight, as now they're going to be able to catch Kuro as well. Matumba Man, he's not going to be able to make it out of here either. Gets stomped up bit by bit. Keen Gaming are going to be able to bring down the big boys of Liquid at least one time here. It's Matumba Man knowing that he can't really escape, just tries to do some damage to Jakiro as best he can. You see, Yi is also chasing an extra one here. GH, but Tom Man somehow still staying alive because of all that magic lifesteal. He's alive still. He can't actually run away, but he's he one can on four in fight. Now Yi is going to come back in. And with his extra damage, that should be enough. Unless the Echo Slam comes down and lays out, and Centaur's actually dead. Oh my he, god, he's he going to live. As well, he's going to live. He's, he's still, still alive. He's still alive. My control is going to lay in some helping hand here with Kaka. Yule Scepter up. Now the Spectre is back up to full HP. Old Chicken goes from Matumba Man once again. But again, he's broken inside of that Nether Toxin. He's not doing any damage back to Matumba Man. He's dead. He has a buyback, yes. But Matumba Man, he doesn't stop. He just lays off Nether Toxin after Nether Toxin Blitz. You said Miracle's got to be the one to carry the game. But Matumba Man, Viper. He's still got some bite in him, even after all these years. Dude, I was like, why aren't they just committing? And I was like, oh, that's why they're not committing. <laughs> <laughs> he actually just stood there against four heroes. Yeah. Nobody backing him up. He had like 300 HP and somehow he was sort of just like, like a trapped lion. You know, he's just burying his fangs, biting him back. No one really willing to commit. As well. there's only one hero up, the Spectre, I mean, they're committing for this pretty hard, but Tumma Man. Four staffed away, breaking the coil. Old Eleven does try and help out by stunning GH, and that'll allow Old Chicken to be able to get back to the fountain. And they do still have a tier two up, so if Old Eleven can run out some of these heroes, he's going to be able to get on top of Curl. But here comes Miracle. Miracle's Maybe back. that's why Spectre is not committing right now. He knows how dangerous it is to fight into this Viper. Being broken like that just kills so much of the damage to the Spectre, just the process of existing. Look at this Liquid. They're saying if you're not going to fight into this uh, into this Viper, then we're just going to go for your throne. But Miracle tries to jump on a Kaka like he's always done, but he's been stunned up. Ice Path, that magic resistance, though, plays out so well, and the throne is at half HP right now. Miracle threatens it, and that's why he immediately comes out the Glyph from Keen Gaming. Oh, they my control's going to die. They can't really go to him, no, but the Sprout. Curse the Sprout. What a good play from Kuro. That's going to be able to help out my control. He will be able to phase shift. Blink away, gets the silence onto the Centaur to make sure there's no follow-up stun either. Now Bash, Old Eleven does manage to get out his stun, trying the to throne. get away, but the throne, the throne is still dying. Kuro's just fully committing to it at this point. He doesn't give a damn about his own life because Matamba Man will seal the game just like he sealed the fight earlier. Matamba Man Viper will make sure that Liquid